and Oscar Murray. Four, five, and six for Seton Hall as that one is squibbed right off the end of the bat. Pogue can't make the play, and that's going to mean that Murray a nice approach. There goes the runner, and Ryapel is going to throw back to first, and he is dead in the water. Pitch and go. And there he does go, and it's a hit and run, and Pavrovsky is going to get it into left field, and how about the speed? Look, you can see that right there, first to third on a hard hit line drive to left field. You got the third baseman crashing in hard, and that's exactly what he does. Really nice bunt, gets it past the pitcher, and Thompson will flick it over to get the out. But, but there goes the runners, and the 3-2 pitch is a slow roller to Thompson. He'll go the first base route and make the easy play. So Kendrick Callilau steps in, and first pitch swing, and he lines one right to the second baseman. 0-2 pitch is by him, so some new life. 2-2 pitch is at the knees for a strike. Good fastball again from Brennan O'Neill. Will bat now for the second time. Good bunt by Hack. Manning off the mound trying to get it. Rolls it over to Cali Lau, but this one Manning trying to get another one. But this is a fly ball out towards center. Fabian went in, back, and then back in, and it'll make the easy catch. The hole, we'll see if they give it to him again. They do, and D'Amico hits a slow roller. Manning's going to have to make that same play again. This time gets it in the air over there. And he's going to get it plunked here. Sir. Runners go on the 1-0, and this one's lined into left field. So the Pirates are going to get another run on Gale's single. And he's running so hard his helmet flew off. And a good battle here with Manning. Runners go, and that one misses. So there they go again. 3-2 pitch missed. So the Pirates get another run. And... And we'll see what he does, one, two, goes for it again, and an easy chopper to Cali Lau. He bobbles it slightly, but will step on the bag to retire the side. So this year, uh, make it 12 as he almost gets knocked over that pitch up in the zone. And there is that same pitch running in under the hands. Fabian drills that one, that one down in the zone, and that's sinking and by the left fielder, Will Gale. So we'll see if Fabian can get to third. He's on second. He's going to try it. Here comes the throw, and the head first slide is in time as the throw gets cut off. And Judd Fabian, here's Sterling Thompson. He goes the other way. But this one's going to hang up long enough for Gale to go get it. So a really nice approach at the plate. Langford drills this one, and this should be a no-doubter out towards left field. Gale going back, and it's into the bullpen. For the second time this weekend, Wyatt Langford leaves a yard, fifth time on the season, and just like that, the Gators get one. Normally plays on the 2-2 to Ryapel, and that one is right down the middle. He wasn't expecting a breaking ball. and Kalilo hits that one hard, but... The center fielder will drift over, and Hack will make the easy catch for the subs. This one off the end of the bat might be a tough play. Third baseman will cut it off, and he's just going to get Armstrong. Good job by D'Amico. And the 3-2 pitch is hit hard and through the right side of the infield. So a good job by D'Amico. Eric Fabian, the Gator third baseman. Runner goes this time. It's a hit and run. Thompson, though, is going to cut it off and make the play. So just like a sacrifice as he does his job and moves his average up to 271. Squares a bunt here, and that's going to be a tough play. Ficarota has it. Throw is in time. He's mishandled him. 1-1 one, one pitch, and that's going to drive in another run. Pavrovsky continues to impress. He's got his second hit. He's been on base all three times. Here's the 0-2, and he did, and he got him. 3-2 pitch, he lost him. So there, in fact, is the first time that the Gators get the leadoff man on. Got a fastball, and he hit it hard. That's going to be a base hit. Fabian's going to go first to third, and the Gators are in business now as well on his way to doing that again as he steps in, and that one gets all the way to the backstop. So the first pitch is going to give the Gators a run. Fabian will come in to score on the wild pitch. Thompson moves into scoring position. He got it, and Langford hits a grounder to short. They're going to go to first with it, so Langford does, in fact, move the runner over. A bang-bang play over there at first base. Well, he felt that he got a good read on it, and he took off for third, and no hesitation by him.
When, when you do that, you get good running technique. Well, home plate umpire Jason Bradley comes out and says, save. Game really well. Runner goes on the 2-1, and they're going to allow Langford to swipe second base. Play. The pitch is strike three called, and that was a strike. You got to swing there if you're B.T. Ryapel, and he's got the hat trick. They do, and Cali Lau hits it well out towards right field, but it's going to be run down by Murray, tagging on the play, and scoring will be Thompson. So Cali Lau does his job. Let's ball up. And Armstrong hits it off the end of the bat. Can of corn for Hack out there in center field. Uh, he will make the catch to retire the side. But Zach Sylvester, the first one to hit, and he chops one out towards Rivera. Short, long play in the hole, and how about that? Good breaking ball there. Hit out towards Talbot, and Talbot can't get it. And that ball's going to sneak through. So back-to-back -back singles now by Seton Hall. Talbot gets it. The throw is going to be cut off. And how about the aggressive base running by D'Amico? And that one is lined again for a base hit. So Gale does it again as all the hits go into right field this inning. And that one is hit right at Fabian and right through the wickets. Wow. Could have been an inning-ending double play. Instead, Seton Hall is going to get another run as Derek Fabian. Putting that close to third base. Yep, there's the squeeze. Ball's down. They're going to come home with it, though, and they got him. Not a good bunt at all. Really the one spot where there they go. 3-2 pitch, and he got him. Good job by Blake Purnell. A 2-2 two and two now to the freshman. And Fabian hits it out to the left side of the infield. That's gobbled up nicely by Grober, and he's going to make a good play. So we saw Rivera. And he pops up the first pitch. Should be playable for McNelly. Now in foul territory, and he will make the catch. Got a fastball, 3-1, but it missed. So he walks the nine hole if you dance around Fabian. Well, that ball is going to get thrown away into right field. Prevesk will stop at second base. No real reason to even. Balls in a strike. And Thompson drills one out towards center field. Pretty well hit, but the ballpark is going to hold it. Hack. Right to the edge of the warning track. Is able to haul it in about 395 feet away. He's also walked and scored. Hits on one hard off of Fabian's glove over to Rivera, and they're still going to throw him out, just like you drew it up. 0-2 pitch. Left side of the infield again. Fabian can't cut it off. Rivera gets it, and they get him again. The catcher. Another chance for Rivera. He'll backhand that one. Get to his feet and make the play. So Joe Sinella's wind and pitch is not even close. So there is the uh, the ups. 2-2 two -two pitch, slow roller to the right side. It'll be gobbled up by the first baseman. They'll flip to the pitcher covering. And, uh, and Evans is going to get on. Line drive to right field. Nice approach at the plate as he took that pitch on the outer part. Fastball, and that's off the end of the bat. Not going to make it out there. Center fielder Hack will go over and cut it off. Scoring on the play will be little brother Derek, but the Gators are now down to their last out. Thompson gets a fastball, hits it right to the second baseman. It's scooped up, and the Seton Hall Pirates are going to get their first victory of the season as they Prance out of that third base dugout and high fives all around. Really, really excited as they should be. As